Monday. And we're not going to do that next year if we're still here, by the way. No more Blue Monday. <laughs> what do you say if we're still here? Who decides that it's Blue Monday? Because it's self-fulfilling. Well, it's the stats, isn't it? It's the stats. The stats. Hmm. Stats. Schmats. <laughs> it, it, you, know, you are how you... F if you, what, you can choose how you feel about anything. And if everybody says today's the day you're allowed to feel blue, then you're going to be. So today we've decided it's... Uh, Make me smile, uh, cheer up Tuesday. We've got some lot, we're trying out different things this morning, including uh, yoga laughter, or laughter yoga. Laughter yoga, I'm looking forward to that one. You ever done this before? No, I mean, I do yoga, but I, it's not, not me frowned upon to laugh during it. Do you know anything about it? Are we just going to be tickled for 10 minutes? No what idea. happened? No idea. Uh, we'll find out. Also, of course, one of the best ways, and you know I'm a little bit evangelical about this, the mm -hmm. best way to feel good is to um, really get your body around. You know, when I go running now, it's no longer for physical health, it's for mental health. And uh, I had a psych on your Sunday show on Sunday, there was a psychologist uh, on Sunday, uh, came in and she was talking about how there's something when you uh, do a lot of exercise that um, you put your brain in an alpha state, which completely changes mm. you. I know, all of that stuff. I don't think my brain has ever experienced an alpha state. Maybe now's the time, because Geraldine <laughs> and Daniel are here from FitFest to give us some inspiration. Good morning to you both. Morning, Good Oxford. Morning. Nice to see you. This weekend you're involved in uh, FitFest. Uh, is it this, it is this weekend? It is this yes. weekend, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. us all about it, what's FitFest? So FitFest is the brainchild of Lydia and Paige, who's here with us today. And the idea is it's lifestyle. It's really getting us to just not think about, like you said, just running for, for the sake of being fit. It's about just bringing it into our life and using health foods and, and just hair and beauty as well to just make us feel good about doing exercise. A little bit of hair and beauty, I definitely need a bit of that. <laughs> Thank you for, you know, if you promised me like a makeover at the end of the marathon, then that's the way to sort of tie me in. All right, we need some <laughs> something to do to, to banish these uh, January blues. What can we do right here, right now, if you're in the kitchen or, um, or you're at home or about to get in your office? Or what? Cut the simple things. Yeah, uh, for me, things. it's all about if you're at home, you need to warm up quickly. So one of the best areas that's always warm is your tummy. So get you down on the floor doing some crunches. You want me to get that? on the floor? Come on, oh, no, let's do right. it. You'll have to uh, commentate. Yeah, that's all right. I can commentate from over here. So nice and simple. <laughs> down on the floor. It's not often you see David on the floor of the studio with the lady beside him, but that is what is happening right now. So uh, just talk us through what you. What I'm lying doing, on Geraldine. the floor. I do this for living. The floor's filthy. It is quite dirty. <laughs> Try not to look. Close your eyes. Don't worry about right. that. Right. Okay. So, Head and shoulders lifted, feet yes. on the floor. Now, just lift your chest and bend yep. those elbows to protect yep. that neck. Here we go. We're going to breathe out, breathe in. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Defibrillator, Sophie. So nice and brilliant. So about? we're just waking up that middle tummy. Can you feel yes. those abs working I already? I can feel my abs working. Good. Yes. About the days where you know, Easy me, to do at home. Think, oh, I just can't be bothered. I like this. Can you give us a couple more things that well, I can do me. perhaps? Uh, I'm not on the floor. My <laughs> method would be dancing. Oh, dancing is a good one for the days you can't be bothered. This is yeah. your name all over. <laughs> if you're really not feeling in the mood, dancing is a great distraction okay. and you're still moving in the same way. You put in a nice song you like. Yeah, that's not nice a bad idea. Nice high tempo. I also have a boogie around the kitchen with the kids, actually. Does that count? That count as yeah, exercise? Yeah, of course it counts. Yeah, yeah. Of course it counts. All right. I like the idea of that. That works. <laughs> <laughs> what about stuff if you're sitting still at your desk all day? We did a lot of this earlier in the year during our Move It campaign. There are simple things you can do, can't you, if you're just at your desk without lying on a filthy floor? <laughs> Stand up for a start. Have a sit down by the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Standing up is a really good idea. Trying to just lift. If you're working at a desk using a laptop, lift it. Stand up. Just keep walking around. Use the stairs instead of like getting in the lift. Things like that. Um, and whenever you can, take a break just really just motivate yourself to stretch up on the toes lift the knees just keep everything moving and it will just over the day inspire you to do something that evening there is a serious thing isn't there that there, everybody will have joined, a lot of people would have joined gyms this time of the year and the fall off rate is really really high why do you think that is because there's some disconnect between we know that fitness and exercise is the number one thing we should be doing in our lives and yet somehow we, a lot of people just can't get past whatever that is, that block. We set ourselves too many challenges in those early days, so just keep it simple. Try and go to the gym maybe once a week, twice a week, but build it into your everyday routine. Don't make it too complicated. Would you agree, Daniel? Do you think people, we, we set our expectations too high? People think, <coughs> excuse me, on January the 1st, I'm going to be fit by the end of the month. I'm going to go three days a week. I'm going to, yeah, I think not people, possible. people start from zero to 100 between the 31st and the 1st so it's kind of like kind of slowly growing into your active life kind of thing you can't go from zero days to i'm gonna go five days a week i'm gonna eat five 
terms of protein in a month kind of thing. So it's kind of slowly building up to a place where you feel it's a lifestyle as opposed to this last minute goal you need to get 